This is the third section of the circles chapter. And this is on intersections of straight lines and circles. Now, when you've got a straight line and a circle, you have three possible options. It could be that the circle and the line do not intersect at all. It could be that the circle and the line have one point of intersection. OK, in which case this is a tangent to the circle, that line tangent to circle. Or you could get a line intersect a circle at two points, in which case it's now a chord of the circle. OK, and a chord which actually sort of extends beyond the circle. So this bit is really that the, the chord. I don't know, or maybe the definition is for a chord that goes beyond there. But anyway, it's a chord. Um, now, that means when we solve the equation of a circle and a line simultaneously, so when we solve the equation of a circle and a line simultaneously, simultaneously, uh, then we will either get, we will either get uh, no solutions, in which case it's the first one, so no solutions. Okay, so that's this one here, no solutions. That will tell you that they don't intersect. Uh, one solution, or may, maybe p two repeated solutions. So that's what you would get with this if you solve the equation of the circle and the line. So I'm saying you get one solution or two solutions or two solutions. So here, this will give you two solutions. Now you can find out whether you're going to get no solutions, one solutions or two solutions by looking at the discriminant. So if we have the discriminant, this, let's spell it right, discriminant, if we have the discriminant, then we know that if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, that's when you get no solutions. You know, no real solutions. If b squared minus 4ac equals zero, that's when we get one solution. And if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, that's when we're going to get two solutions. So when we put together the equation of the line and the circle, we can look at its discriminant. So this is the discriminant of um, discriminant of the line or of the equation of the line of the line and circle combined. So this is when you combine them together to get this new quadratic, then we can look at the discriminant of that and that will tell us whether we've got a line that doesn't intersect the circle, just touches the circle at one point, a tangent, or whether it crosses at two points. Here it says find the coordinates of the points where the line x or y equals x plus 5 meets the circle. Now because it says points, I'm expecting to find two sets of coordinates. Use the clues that are in the question. So if I don't, it probably points to something being done wrong. 
So let me substitute this x plus 5 where y is. So I'm going to sub in x plus 5 for y. So what I get will be x squared plus y, which is now x plus 5, minus 2 squared equals 29. Okay, so that's going to be x squared plus x plus 3 all squared equals 29. Multiplying out the brackets, I'll have x squared plus x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9 equals 29. Let's make it look like a quadratic, so you get 2x squared plus 6x. And then if I take away 29 from both sides, um, I'll end up with negative 20 equals 0. I want to see if I can factorise it, so let's divide everything by 2 first. x squared plus 3x minus 10, 0. So I'm now looking for two numbers that multiply to give me negative 10 and add to give me 3. So I know I can use the numbers 5 and 2 to do that. And if I want to get plus 3, I want plus 5 and negative 2. So this gives me x coordinates of negative 5 and negative, or oh sorry, and 2. So now I can use that to find the y coordinates. So one of the y coordinates is going to be negative 5 add 5, so it's going to be 0. So that gives me the coordinate when x is negative 5, the y coordinate is 0. And then for the other x coordinate, which is going to be 2 plus 5, which is just going to be 7. So that gives me the other coordinate that when 2 is the x coordinate, 7 is the y coordinate. Now don't mix them up. So for example, if you used x is minus 5, make sure that you put the 0 with it, not the 7. So you need to keep track of which x coordinate goes with which y coordinate. Don't swap them over, otherwise you'll lose marks. Show that the line x minus 7 does not meet the circle x plus 2 all squared plus y squared equals 33. Now, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to combine the equations of the line and the circle and check its determinant. If it does not meet, what we're expecting is that b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, which means no real roots. And if there's no real roots, it means that they don't intersect. So we're going to start by combining the equations so that we can work out the determinant. So first thing is I'm going to sub in um, x minus 7 for y. So that will give me x plus 2 all squared plus y, which is now x minus 7 all squared equals 33. Okay, so expand the brackets, x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 plus and then the second set of brackets x squared minus 7x minus 7x plus 49 and then I'm going to take away 33 I'll bring that across as well so what if I've got x squared and x squared so 2x squared then I've got 2x plus 2 it's 4x take away 14x, it's just going to leave me with negative 10x, so minus 10x. Then I've got a 4 plus 49 minus 33. Let's use a calculator for that. So 4 plus 49 minus 33, and I get 20. So plus 20 equals 0. Right, let's divide everything by 2 to give me x squared um, minus 5x 
plus 10 equals 0. So remember, I'm not trying to solve this. And actually, if I did try to solve it, I wouldn't find a solution. We want to look at the determinant. So uh, b squared minus 4ac, well, that's going to be uh, negative 5 squared minus 4 times a times c. OK, now what does that give us? That gives us 25 minus 40, which is negative 15. So we can say something like since b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, OK, there is no solution to the um, equation uh, 2x squared minus 10x plus 20. If no, there's no solution to that, therefore the circle and the line do not meet. Do not meet. Okay, you should now be able to do exercise 60 on page 122. Now, just remember when we combine the equations, combine the equation of the line and the circle. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the determinant of that. If that's less than zero, OK, that means that circle and line do not meet, do not meet. If um, that is greater than zero, it means that the circle and the line cross in two places, cross in two places. So you have a chord. And if you have uh, b squared minus 4ac equal to zero, the circle and the line uh, meet at uh, a single point, in which case that line is a tangent to the circle.